Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Tuesday, March 26, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, the aftershocks, uh, whatever, uh, whatever the word is uh, of the Mueller report, is still being felt uh, politically. It has been quite a shock, I think, for a lot of people, particularly those who really got invested in this report or that this report was going to bring down President Trump. Now, I never felt that. I've said that many times over the last couple of years, that I never felt that there would be anything in this report so bad that it would uh, bring down President Trump. But a lot of people really got invested in it. And even some people of the so-called experts in the media who kept going on TV saying that they were positive that this was going uh, to bring about indictments. I mean, a lot of those people, uh, really, you have to wonder what led them to say something like that when what we are now learning uh, about uh, the Mueller report is that there were no leaks. In fact, all of those stories that were being published, you know, day in and day out, you know, sources close to the investigation, all of that stuff turned out to be fake. I mean, fake news, if you, I don't like to use that word, but that's what it was, fake news. I mean, the fact is that the reporters and the editors who were printing this stuff either got taken for a ride, bad sources, or knew that they were reporting something incomplete, but nevertheless went ahead and did it. I mean, as I've told you before, this has not been a good time for the media here in the last 72 hours. And I don't say that with any excitement. You know, a lot of people think we hate the media. No, we hate an irresponsible and partisan media. I love a good media. I love a media that holds our politicians accountable. That's what I love. But it seems like we've gone from one extreme to the other uh, with President Obama to President Trump. With President Obama, the media was like little lapdogs that basically uh, just you know went along with anything he said. And with Trump, it's like they're Rottweilers. They want to eat his hand every time they see him. But the bottom line is that the report is out there. Now the big argument is, should it be made public? Look, I think everybody who wants to make this report public uh, understands the reason why well, you have to be very careful about making something like this public. There are interviews. I just read today that there were over 500 interviews that were done for this report. 800 subpoenas. Now, a lot of those people who were subpoenaed or interviewed, they're not famous people. They're people who participated in this, gave their two cents, and that was part of the conclusion, or, or, or the collected information was part of the conclusion. You've got to respect uh, the confidentiality of those interviews. So I understand why the Attorney General is you know, taking his time to to release this, but you know, I think the Democrats are just using this, you know, idea of publishing the report as a distraction. The distraction is they don't want to deal with the fact that they spent two years predicting that this would, you know, sink Trump, and in fact, it has not because the conclusions were negative about any collusion. Now, I think, and I have a post about this coming out Wednesday morning. I think that what the Mueller report has done, though, it has set the table for what I believe will be now a lot of things that are going to come out that are not going to be very kind to some of the people who worked in the FBI and some of the people in the Obama Justice Department. I think we're going to find out about this FISA warrant. How was that done? I think we're going to find out more and more about activities within the FBI and the Department of Justice to get candidate Trump. So um, I think in many ways, the storm is not over. The storm has just begun. But now, because of the Mueller report, it's going to be a different panorama and one that I think many of the Trump haters are going to dislike uh, a great deal. But I think the, the stage is set for what I believe will be some shocking admissions uh, over the next uh, three to six months. Well, thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.